Hey guys, I just got done installing a tow hitch from Eco Hitch on the back of my 2019 Tesla Model 3, so I thought I'd go through and show you some of the different things that I learned. This is one of my first videos, so be gentle on me. So one of the first things that you're going to need to do is essentially take the trunk apart and this whole back bumper piece off to be able to get to the bolts. It's actually surprisingly easy. The instructions will have you remove these things. It'll have you peel this plastic part off because literally the Tesla just pops apart. You'll see things like these little plastic pins. You're just going to stick a screwdriver in there and pop that out and work this out. Inside here, you can see that the headlight or the taillight, excuse me, is um, eight millimeter bolts along with a plug that you pop out. Once those are gone, you're going to give this guy and this is gone a little bit of a reef, a wiggle. This will come off, and there's actually a 10 millimeter bolt hide right about here on each side. And these whole things kind of wiggle out like a Lego, which is kind of cool. So from there, what it's gonna have you do is the same type of pop pins ideas are, there's three of them down here, that go just behind the tire. These are a smaller size than the two that were inside the trunk for taking out. There's also, if you peel this back, gonna be a torque wrench right there. So once you get those out, you're gonna be underneath the car, popping these tabs back for two screws. There's three screws across here. And then there's a funny felt thing. There's a screw on one side of the felt and the other, and then this is sort of like a big clamshell that slides out of the way. So I threw some blankets down on the floor and moved this out of the way, so off to the side. And then we got to town. Behind this piece is more 10 bo uh, millimeter bolts. You're gonna take off a plastic flare and you're gonna disconnect about uh, two or three things here and set them up. Oh, also these guys here, you just pop them off and you give this a reef and the whole thing will start the whole buffer or the buffer the whole <laughs> bumper will come off for you from there it's a 15 millimeter wrench to take off the crash bar and the actual hardware behind it and then you just put your hitch on you use these plastic washers as the instructions tell you and uh, put it all back together the way you found it it's a very important that when you're putting it together I learned you start with the bottom pan that once that's lined up you can line everything else up. You can put your torque heads back in. You can put all of your sensors back on and you can just follow the basic instructions. And you can grab this guy and put him back on too. He just clips right in. I did want to show you one more thing is you cut a hole in the bottom of this using like a saw. What I found hiding inside of the system though is what I would assume is essentially a tow package connector for like a three-way wire. I'm not exactly sure what this is yet. If I can find an adapter online, I'll update my video and I will show you guys um, how that is just a plug and play. Otherwise, we're gonna just splice into the rear wheel or the rear light system for turn signals and uh, hazards and brakes. Thanks so much.